Welcome to a lesson on how to determine the singular values of a matrix. Let A be an M by N matrix. The singular values of A are the square roots of the positive eigenvalues of A transpose times A, or A times A transpose. A transpose times A, or A times A transpose, will always have the same positive eigenvalues. Let's take a look at an example. Let's determine the singular values of the given two by three matrix, matrix A. Let's first determine A transpose. Remember to find A transpose, the first row of matrix A becomes the first column of A transpose, and the second row of matrix A becomes the second column of A transpose. And now let's determine A transpose times A, which I've already done here. Notice how the result is a three by three matrix. We could stop here, find the positive eigenvalues of this matrix, and then take the square root of those eigenvalues to determine the singular values of matrix A. Let's also determine the product of A and A transpose. Notice A times A transpose results in a two by two matrix, and therefore, let's find the eigenvalues of A times A transpose, since the result is a two by two matrix. Again, once we find the positive eigenvalues, the singular values will be the square roots of the positive eigenvalues. Let's go ahead and set this up on the next slide. Remember an eigenvalue of a given matrix A is a scalar lambda, such that the determinant of the difference of matrix A and lambda times the identity matrix equals zero. We can also use the alternative formula shown here on the right. So let's go ahead and set this up. For review, I've showed all the detailed steps, where in our case, matrix A is really the matrix A times A transpose, or the two by two matrix, where the entries are 11, five, five, and 11. And now we find the determinant and set it equal to zero. The determinant is equal to the quantity 11 minus lambda times the quantity 11 minus lambda minus five times five. And the difference of these products must equal zero. 11 minus lambda times itself is equal to 121 minus 22 lambda plus lambda squared. And then we have minus 25 equals zero. Combining the constant terms, we have lambda squared minus 22 lambda plus 96 equals zero, which is factorable. The factors of 96 that add to negative 22 are negative 16 and negative six, resulting in two eigenvalues where we have lambda equals 16 or lambda equals six. Notice both are positive eigenvalues and therefore we use these values to determine the singular values of the original matrix A. The singular values of A are sigma sub i equal to the square root of lambda sub i. For lambda sub one equals 16, we have sigma sub one equals the square root of 16, which is equal to four. And lambda sub two is equal to the square root of lambda sub two, which is equal to the square root of six. The singular values of the given matrix A are sigma sub one equals four, and sigma sub two equals the square root of six. I hope you found this helpful.